but all I know is she wants to survive and she wants no drama. What's up everybody? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are talking about five mangas, manwas, webtoons where the main character regresses. I am reading this week. First title is Second Life of a Trash Princess. This is interesting because the main character is a princess. She dies, sacrifices herself, and uses his artifact and regresses, goes back in time where her whole family is still alive. Nothing major happened. And she knows that the best solution is to be worse than her bratty brother. She figures that everything just went down the drain because her brother was just so trashy and her solution was she will be worse than him she will do worse things and i think one of the reasons why she thought this was the best solution was because she tried so hard to make things right she tried to make up for her trashy brother she tried to make up for her father's negligence who was like the emperor or something like that and this time she's like f it effort effort all that effort i did before didn't work out so i'm just gonna do whatever i want i mean i tried before what worse can happen i already died okay and there is a main villain apparently it's a witch and this witch is totally conspiracy with everybody controlling them brainwashing them and has sort of initiated all these tragic events that led to the downfall of the empire and as the story goes we're seeing it being unraveled we're seeing the truth behind things and it's very interesting because the villain the witch we thought was like a mastermind but it turns out that she has she's got issues and i want to know why next title is i refuse to be executed a second time this is different from the previous title. The previous title was about a princess. This one is about this girl who does get engaged to a prince and then she gives up that right, gives it to her evil half sister, and then she becomes a pawn. She sacrificed, all this blame is put on her, and she dies after listening to everybody being obedient and then when she comes back after she regresses she's like okay the first thing i need to do is just cut off ties from my sister my mother stepmother and the prince who i'm engaged to she gets exiled she starts ruling her own territory she's really good because she regrets. She knows what's going on. She knows how the economy is going to happen. She knows what illnesses are going to happen. So she's helping develop this area that was supposedly a lost cause, but they're flourishing. They're developing. And because of her achievements, she has caught the eye of the Empress, Dolwager. And she's like, okay, this girl who's engaged to my grandson i don't like her and one of the things that really ticked off the empress dog is the girl killed off this guy that disagreed with her and he was actually an associate with the empress and that's when the empress is like okay this girl is crazy there's no way i'm gonna let her be the next empress of the people that i cared for no i want the other girl the original girl who's developing this one territory making it flourish if she can do that to one territory imagine if she does that to the whole kingdom empire whatever so from there we see that our female lead she is going out of her shell she's starting to stand up for herself and she is proving her worth like totally she's making her half sister look so bad 
Next is I'm the master of my life. This is another story about a girl who's been so obedient and uh, from all that she ends up dying. Our female Lee, she ends up getting this power, the guardian's power, and apparently she wasn't supposed to get it. Her half-sister, who is the legitimate child, and our female lead is the illegit illegitimate child, and the power goes to the illegitimate one, and her half-sister is two-faced. So what happened was she built up our female lead, made her feel so important, but also hindering her development as a person, as an aristocrat. Purposely doing that so she because she knew our female lead was not going to be the head of the house. She was purposely leading her to downfall, building up her confidence, but also undermining her abilities and making our female lead dependent on her to the point where she leads her to get engaged to this man and she ends up falling in love with him and that same guy kills her and when she dies she's given a choice do you have a wish what do you wish for and she's like i wish revenge and the voice that's speaking to her is saying, well, you got to sacrifice all your love, but you can keep one. And she's like, well, I have no one to love. So I, I, I'm willing to sacrifice all my love. But the one person that I'll save is the guy that's been guarding me. So when she regresses, for some reason, that same guy regresses with her. And as she's trying to prevent all the unfortunate events that led her doom, the guy who's been guarding her is also doing the same thing too. And it's really interesting how they're both doing the same thing, but from different perspectives. And it's interesting how our female lead actually has like another identity and that's connected to her mother and her mother Ooh, she had a big role and it's also connected to the guardian stone that she inherited that she absorbed that she was able to gain that made her half sister mad at her this guardian soul stone stone guardian stone seems to be tainted oh dear but this this guardian stone is supposed to be related to the whole kingdom protecting it so it's like what's going on what happened there's like something off that happened in the past that construed things the information it feels like there's something in the background manipulating things and it's slowly unraveling next is sister i am the queen in this life another story about the female lead who is being obedient and such and she regresses and she's thwarting everything that happened that led her doom this one is slightly different slightly i just say slightly because the other one was about the illegitimate child this one is also a illegitimate child but that difference is this girl was not directed to feel confident and such. She always knew she was inferior. She had like an older sister that was the star of the show. Everybody knew her. She was beautiful. Everybody knew that she was charming. Everybody wanted her. So she knew she was inferior to her, but she also had a really bad self-esteem and she was actually brought in to be engaged to this other illegitimate person a duke this duke actually wanted the pretty sister but the pretty sister's like no i don't want to be married to him he's an illegitimate child i'm meant to be with the prince a king and such so they brought in our female lead to pair her off with that duke dude later on as she's helping the man she's engaged to rise up in power helping him become the king 
he turns around, betrays her, goes to marry the pretty sister, and the pretty sister's like, yeah, because he's going to be king, now I want him. And thank you so much for bringing him up to power. And our female lead dies. So what our female lead does when she regresses is, one, she's not going to be the inferior one anymore. She knows her worth. She knows what's going to happen. She knows the flaws, the ticks of her, quote, pretty sister, quote. She knows how to make herself look better without the need of beauty and charm. Like, she's intelligent. She is smart. She can do a lot of stuff. I mean, she made this one guy become king. If she can do that, she can make herself queen. I don't know if she does do that, but all I know is she wants to survive and she wants no drama. She's like, do not bring attention to me. Do not connect me to the royals. Just leave me alone. I can be friends with you if you will benefit me, but I'm not going to be married into you. Pick no. Me with the royals just puts a chart on me. No, don't want to die again. So it's really interesting how she kind of sabotages her half-sister from the background by doing little things. It's very satisfying. Last one I have is Becoming the Villain's Family. This is very different from all the other stories. Our female lead is actually part siren. She was contained. She was actually imprisoned, enslaved by her own father and then she was sold off to the king and then she was just used for entertainment and her voice actually had magical powers so they were using her for whatever benefits they could gain from the magic of her voice and it got to a point where she starts to die she starts dying She's lo losing her life slowly. She's losing hope anyway. So she's like, just take my life. I am miserable. I hate this. And her last breath was right before she's saved by this guy. And she's like, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate this. And her last wish was to make him happy because she knew this guy's story she knew that he had like a sad story she's like i just wish you would be happy thank you so much for saving me and she dies she regresses she's with her father who is trying to train her to be like the perfect siren and she already has her powers her powers she has her powers but the father doesn't know it and He's training her to sing. He's, and it's weird because apparently his family is known for music and such. And for him, he went out to look for a siren, used the mom for whatever benefits he could gain. And then they had a kid and he's like, okay, your mom said, I'm going to use you now. And so our female lead's like, no, I am not going to let this happen again. And she somehow gets away from him by being adopted by this duke who's known to be malicious. He's known to be scary. He's known to be don't mess with me kind. And it's interesting where she's trying not to use her voice. She's, she's acting like she's a mute. Which is like, huh. They're supposed to know you're a siren, but you're hiding your voice's power and such. It's like she's trying to like keep all her trump cards to herself and then later on she'll reveal it. I don't really care for this story because it's kind of slow. And we have, I guess their main lead, which is the guy who saved her when she's older and stuff. We see him, he's, he's kind of like a tsundere, mean to her, 
nice later on, mean to her. And then we have this other character who's sort of like a genius and such, and he starts developing feelings for her. He becomes her ally. And it's sort of... Ah, it's like, come on, let's go with the story. You guys are kids. They're all kids. They're still kids. And I'm like waiting for them to get older. I'm waiting for her to exact revenge. I'm waiting for her to like just use her voice and cause destruction and it's not happening yet so yeah i don't really care for that story and those were the five manuals mangas webtoons whatever you want to call them that i'm reading with the theme of regressing as i was talking about these five titles i noticed that the theme with all of them were they were bitty and they had regressing yeah those were like the two main things themes with these regressing stories it's like <laughs> why else why you would want to regress go back in time because you got regrets you want to change things you want to change yourself you know what was wrong you know what led to your downfall and one of those downfalls was you were a people pleaser and now you're like standing on your own and you're saying no more i will ruin you before you ruin me but like in the story called sister i will be the queen this time where all they want to do is survive like the one where in the second life trash princess one the trash princess her go is to survive and just have a cruise relaxing life later on because in her first life she led all her people she had all these responsibilities she took care of her brother her dad her kingdom and in the second life she's like no more mm -mm, i just want to relax that's all i want to do i will get rid of all these problems but afterwards don't bother me <laughs> so I like those stories. There's humor in it. I like it. The one with the siren that doesn't have that much humor. There is some, but it's not enough. Not enough to catch my attention with that slow pace. No, 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 no. But besides that, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to let me know let everybody else what else you're reading what piqued your interest that has like the regressing theme let us know in the comments below i also stream on twitch.tv slash who is the perfina we can hang out over there and if you like to listen to podcasts about anime and manga i host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime manga and other things we're interested in if you like podcasts like that link to the podcast is in the description below we are available on all platforms other than that, my name is Lehu and this is the Superfina channel talking about five titles that I'm reading with the theme of regressing. Hope you guys like this video and we'll see you on the next one. Laters!